guys are still busy? Who wants dinner? Are you a happy girl? You like it here? So squad gets Stella and Chewie's and we travel. Uh-uh. Everyone's gonna lay down. And we tried it already a few times and it works out so good. But what I'm doing different this time is that I'm hand feeding them. First of all, hand feeding you guys is such a great way to bond with your dog. I recommend doing that no matter what. Just occasionally hand feed your dog. But the reason why I'm doing this is because I don't like when I I don't like when I have to hey no. Kimari, lay down. Lay down. That's why I can't talk and train them at the same time because I know I'm distracted. Good behavior. That's good. So we've we've wetted this down in, at the campground, and I feel like they just scarf it up like a gel. I just don't like the way it feels. Some people like it, some people don't. But I don't want to give it to them in a bowl like big dry biscuits because it's dehydrated. That's the point. It's raw, freeze dried raw, but it's super dry. So if you're gonna go that route and you're not gonna wet it, just make sure, I think it says here in the back of the bag, that what you wanna make sure is that you have a lot of water nearby, right? So that's the goal. So Stella and Chewy's has great feeding ratios in the back, feeding patties per day. So Titus is gonna get right now six of them and Kimari's gonna get five and Yuna's gonna get four. That's how they, that's their order of eating, they eat different than each other but this is not something we feed every day because it's so expensive plus we like feeding them frozen raw like actual raw food but this is so amazing for camping and for road trips it's healthy and they get their nutrients and it's also easy on their road and it's super lightweight okay you let me finish my sentences huh see this is great you can train them be calm and relax and you don't feed them before they are like that this is part of everyday training we do this all the time she's making great eye contact no you can put that paw down you good girl kimari okay they already know that if they make eye contact with me mm -mm. Let's not forget though, Stella is their crack. <laughs> they really like this food so much. I do not know why they love this so much, but I think one of the ways it's gonna be, I'm gonna put it behind me. Let me try this so you guys are focused on me instead of the bag. <clears throat> I'm gonna do one patty at a time for pup. No pushing me. But this is a really good way to bond you. Good girl, see? She's already full on connecting making great eye contact so if you're rescuing a dog and you don't know how to build that relationship do that look see i'm holding it in my hand but she's looking at me because she knows that that's what i want good girl this is a great way it's like a trust building exercise so i'm breaking them in smaller pieces because it's dry and if i would give her the whole patty she would scarf it down good girl mama and the others are practicing patience uh-uh you want to practice patience. Wait, I want that eye contact. You good girl. She's known to drool. Okay, awesome. Next patty. And now I'm going to use this time to make him do some practice stuff because this is also a great way to train him and do different things. And it's amazing mental stimulation. So you can do both in the same time, feeding them and give them a great mental stimulation, right, Mama? Okay, we're gonna do one paw, Mommy. Single paw. Good girl. Good girl. Double paw. Oh, not Titus, not you. Good girl. Sit. Sit, Mari. All the way. Good girl. Some people may say, oh, that's so mean. Why would you do that? Just feed your dog, right? No, this is such an amazing way. This is how you have a calm life. This is how you do it. It's not being mean. This is amazing. Mental stimulation. They enjoy this too. It's like a mind game. Right? Mind games? Titus, can you handle mind games? 
<laughs> you have to be firm though. They're, they can be like, she's being so cute right now, she's begging for her treat, for her food. But you have to be firm. No, no. Yeah, that's what I want. Full eye contact. Good job, Titus. All right. One more. He always moves his little paws in the front. See, you just can't fidget. But he's doing a really good job with eye contact. You good boy, Titus. Nicely patient. And take your time, you guys. This is not something that happens overnight. This takes patience and practice. Like, this is going to take me a while. So just do it often. Do, do hand feeding at least once a week, you know? I could definitely recommend that. Even if you do, like, a big frozen turkey neck, whatever it is, just involve your hands. The smell next to their your hands so they trust your hands. It really builds that relationship. All right, guys. I'm going to finish feeding them. This is going to take me a little while. Not all of you guys, just hide this. for something really short. Not with your dogs, because you know we had the, the 
kids had health issues that you know we you know it's, I would say about 95% resolved but it was a very humbling experience and it kind of our vet told us it was just amazing Dr. Keith Weingart friggin amazing but we're having all these conversations about a holistic vet about these different issues that this god had and what they've been through and why that happened and i told him i was like everything seemed fine for so long and he's like yeah you know he's like i check my ego at the door every day that i do this and it's just it was very profound for me to hear that it was such a humbling experience to hear that from him that's an amazing holistic vet ego I guess like you know I, I our kids were fine for so many years I mean they had different kind of health issues here and there but they weren't anything as crazy as what happened in January 2018 but that time just really checked us like you don't know what you're doing at all and it was really interesting to hear that from Keith it's like we don't know everything we don't know everything right now and we're gonna be learning always Everybody has different opinions about food, nutrition, what route to take. And some people are like, why do you feed your dogs? Why do you feed your dog greens? They're not, you know, whatever. They only eat meat. Or some people make all kinds of comments. And I'm fine with it because everybody has a different approach. No, dogs don't eat salads. <laughs> what we do is, a lot of what we do actually is based on what our holistic vet recommends. I would say 95% is pretty much what he told us what to do and the rest of it is what we you know brought in and felt ourselves. But this the way the squad eats now it cured Kimari's tumor. I mean this is huge, right? So what we do is their diet is like 95% raw meat. Raw meat from a very small brand, small batch, who produces quality ingredients. We actually met the owners, they're amazing people. And it's not just meat, it's, it's uh, Yeah. It's the entire animal pretty much. It's what it is, it's meat, organs and bones, the proper ratio. Because you can't just feed your dog muscle meat and that's it. They need the bone content and the organ content. So it's this it's this great blend of dog food that they create. You can make it yourself too. You can there's this book I really, really recommend that I haven't finished reading. Actually, our vet, our holistic vet, Dr. Keith Weingart, recommended that we read it about dog nutrition. It's by Dr. Karen Becker. So we started reading that. It's amazing. If you guys, if you guys want to make your dog's own food, read that book. Because everything I've read there is absolutely fantastic. So she goes over all the ratios and exactly how you should create a meal. And when you do the food yourself for your dog, not only do you know what's in it, but it, it can be much more affordable than getting very expensive um, meats that's ready made. But small batch works out for us now with our super busy lifestyle. It's great food, it's done the squat really well. So they make the perfect combination of bone, muscle, and organ content. That's what a dog needs, but that's their foundation of their diet. Everything else just, just changes all the time and it's supplementing their diet I don't mean supplements I mean supplementing like for example they get there's there's certain veggies that we use in their diet celery leafy greens including be, um, greens from beets and summer squash green beans those are probably their biggest things so what we do I take a small amount well I take a larger amount and I put them on the food processor and grind it super 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 fine so they don't have to do any chewing it can go directly down there and their body can do the work and it digests much better because dogs are not herbivores they're not gonna sit there and chew their food so it's already processed so finely that they can digest it so this sort of mimics and this is you know something that I went over with our holistic vet it mimics their real diet a little bit more because when an animal would go hunting in the wild they would catch another animal and they would eat the stum some of the stum stomach content. They eat the organs, they eat everything. The stomach content is gonna be often full of, what's the word for it? Not processed, but vegetables and, not vegetables, but greens and different things that herbivores eat in nature. Minerals. And it has vital, essential minerals in there. 
Dr. Keith even told me what you can do is process it really finely and steam it lightly. And that also mimics, you know, the animal that's already digested the food. But the veggies that they get, which I just mentioned, it's maybe 5-10% of their, of their entire meal. Not even 10%, right? Because they get like two, two to three tablespoons of that in their plate when their when their meat is pretty much an entire meal. So just keep that in mind. But you know, there's some people that do purely um, high, you know, a, a prey model raw. There's so many. There's so many different types of feeding your dog. I think the biggest takeaway that I got from feeding our dogs, especially after they've had all these health issues, is that feeding real food. Kibble is not real food. No matter which way you look at it, kibble is not real food. And you may think, just like we thought, hey, they're, they're doing fine, they're already seven, eight, whatever, how old they are. My dog is three, four years old, the dog is doing fine. The problem is, it's kind of like a human kid, you know? a young adult where you can get away drinking and smoking and partying and eating McDonald's and you feel fine right but eventually it catches up with you and that's I feel like that's what happens with kibble you know they can eat a kibble diet for some years and the dog seems like it's thriving and then BAM cancer actually our vet uh, yeah that's what I was just gonna mention Dr. Keith Weingart our vet we just chatted about this and he said that the statistics right now that was recently released that the average a dog that's eight years around eight years old or older 50 percent of those dogs get cancer that's mind-blowing those numbers are insane and yeah you could do chemotherapy which i wouldn't even put any dog through you know it's hell of a life the stuff that I've been reading but eventually these things catch up so feeding real food prevents a lot of different issues a healthy diet I mean dogs have diabetes dogs have almost every issue that our Western lifestyle has in humans and they even have medication right? yeah and they're on medication Dude, anti they put dogs in antidepressants. Are you kidding me? Take that dog for a hike. Sorry, I, I can go off on a tangent about that too, but it's, you know, it's nuts. There's a reason why our dogs are companion animals and cats. In ourselves, we have health issues because we don't eat real food. And real food is, is what heals, right? It's a response. All these things are responsibilities. Children, babies, they depend on us for how we raise them. Dogs, entire life literally depend on us. So it's a huge responsibility. So yeah, that's my rant for the day. <laughs> Tyson falling asleep. Tyson chilling. Here's mama. to hook up the husky squad with their favorite food. Small batch all the way out here in Utah at an amazing little place called Bone Appetit. And thank you David from Small Batch for hooking us up. We love your brand so freaking much. So we're gonna get everything that they have here, cleaning them out. And we're also gonna try a few other new ones too. So we're also gonna do the rabbit blend from Small Batch. Really excited about that one, but this is like almost like whole prey. It's got all it's got the bone, rabbit bone, rabbit livers, rabbit hearts, rabbit kidneys, rabbit lungs. So this is like complete from that standpoint. It has everything there. 
that they need. We usually don't do chicken, but we're gonna do chicken this time because we usually do duck, but they don't have duck, so we're gonna do chicken. Next time they'll have duck, but we'll come pick it up. I think I'm gonna do chicken, I mean duck. The duck patties, yeah. We usually don't do these guys, but because we need more, we'll get the duck. Should I get this for snacks in the house? I think I'm gonna do two snacks. Yeah, I'm gonna do two snacks. Because I think these feel like they're a bit bigger. Yeah, they feel like they're a bit bigger. So I think these are perfect for a little snack for the squad. So we have a small batch. Big box today. I think, wasn't David talking about that they're doing freeze-dried organs too? Because I don't see it. Oh, are those turkey necks? Yeah, they are. Squad's gonna be in heaven. What's this? Those are awful. Did I get two batches or one? Two? Two? Okay. Wow, my hands are frozen. Oh my god, they're gonna be so happy. Okay. So I have this, that. What else do I what else do we need? so happy that we found this that we got this huge batch of of small batch so you're gonna fit in the freezer right? yeah small batch the best food that we've tried for the squad no matter what we've tried from a raw food standpoint small batch always work we've been doing the stella and chilies but look at this this looks awesome we're gonna do this i think we're gonna do this in uh, as treats this is great yeah see give it as a treat Bites with benefits. I love that turkey bites. Super simple ingredients. Yeah, it's ingredients you can actually understand. Turkey, including bone, turkey, turkey gizzards, turkey hearts, turkey livers, organic winter squash, organic spinach, organic coconut oil, salmon oil, organic cranberry, organic sesame seed powder, organic purple probiotic, contains purple cabbage and sun chokes. I understand every single ingredient and that's why this is good food. And it's the same thing with this one. This one has oysters. Zinc. Yeah. This one got oysters in it. This is this is duck bites, but it's got oyster in it too. These are great. Squirrel's gonna love this stuff. And we're also gonna be trying for the first time the small batch patties. We've never done patties before. So squad's gonna get some patties. They're like burger patties, except they're made for dogs and have amazing ingredients. So we have an hour, over an hour drive to our cabin. We have all this food in the back there. Hopefully they don't completely melt by the time we get to the cabin. Is she doing that thing again? She's so relaxed. You know, you chilled out. And then when we get to the cabin, we have a great, a great canyon right behind the cabin. So that's gonna be the place where we do our morning walks and where we do our evening walks. So this trip, the past three, the past three days, today is day three, they've been getting their exercise every day. And I love that. We're really, really cautious with it this time. So the only day they didn't have was today because we left super early in the morning from the hotel because we wanted to make it in time to the place to pick up food for them and for us so we're gonna arrive what time is it now it's 3 44 gonna arrive in about an hour or so so it's gonna be before sunset and we'll be able to go for a hike so they'll get their walk today just later than usual but they're still gonna be good they'll be happy i think we're getting coffee baby All right. i apologize Did you hear that? Kimari's a master blooper. JC's backdrop is insane. <laughs> I just, it's crazy because when you look at this place, it just makes you want to go out and play. It's like everything looks like you just want to go play. It's <laughs> public lands. That's true. Here. Every little nook and cranny that I look over there on that side makes me want to go play. If you guys would only see how much hair there is in the car right now. 
shooting and the, the other next one starts. begins. That's how it goes. Like it would be nice if they would all shed together in the same month. Then we would have, you know, a serious month of shedding, and then that happens twice a year. But no, it's like a month, another month. So we really have, I would say, on average, we have six months of shedding a year. Five to six months. Kimari is shedding cotton balls right now. You just pull it, phew, and it's like a huge cotton ball comes out of her body. Only JC gets this kind of love from Luna. I'm not jealous though, it's just their relationship. They have a special relationship them too. She just gets kisses instead from me. Me though, but she loves her daddy. Look at this, you guys. Isn't this beautiful? <laughs> they know. They, of course, they know. They're home. You guys are home. Oh, this is home. Right here. Oh, of course, they remember. So excited. while we unpack. So this is home for the next while. Spotty couch, nice little dining area. And uh, this is the kitchen. Upstairs. It's really pretty too. The spot has to follow me everywhere, of course. We got her twin beds. Hey, she had a couch here. Didn't used to be a couch here. That's nice. And here's JC with the cops. Babies, babies, come. Go downstairs. Go downstairs. Go. 
respect the owner of this beautiful cabin they're so cute look so attached can't be without us for a second almost done babies and it's probably about an hour and a half to sunset yeah an hour and a half to sunset so we're gonna leave all this over here for now this mess which drives me crazy but we already have uh, a small batch waiting for the kids, waiting for the squad. And I have goat's milk over here. Usually we like using answers, but we couldn't find any today. But check this out, guys. Small batch heaven over here. Small batch. There's like 17 rolls of small batch over here in the pack. And more small batch on the bottom. So, small batch hooked this up, you guys. Thank you so much. Oh my god, this is really... Hi, Mama. We're not done unpacking. Let's go. Oh. It's just water, you guys. Hold on. Get back. Get back. Okay. 